Assalamu alaikum. We begin with Allah's name, the most gracious, the most merciful. And may Allah's blessings and peace be upon his Prophet Muhammad alayhi salatu wasalam. In our previous episode, we saw the amazing mathematics of the Prophets Adam and Jesus, Isa, peace be upon them both. In this episode, we'll see the undeniable and amazing code of the Prophet Nuh alayhi salam, the second father of humanity. So let's get to it. Researchers such as Sheikh Bassam Jarrar have presented some very interesting findings regarding the mathematics of the Prophet Nuh السلام, in the Quran, and they truly are amazing. Chapter Nuh in the Quran is chapter 71. The number of verses in this chapter is 28. This makes the relationship between the two the number 43, because that is the difference between the chapter number and verses number. The first astonishing surprise is that Nuh السلام, was mentioned in the Quran exactly 43 times. These mentions are whether specifically in reference to himself or part of a phrase such as the people of Nuh or the wife of Nuh. Regardless of how Noah السلام, in name was mentioned exactly 43 times and this is exactly the difference between the number of the chapter Nuh and the verses of chapter Nuh. This alone is amazing enough. Then we are shocked to find the following observations. The last mention of Nuh, i.e. Noah, in the entire Quran was in chapter Nuh. After chapter Nuh, there are amazingly exactly 43 chapters in the Quran. All 43 chapters in the Quran after Nuh do not contain any mention of Nuh. Even more shocking is that before chapter Nuh, there are again exactly 43 chapters that do not mention Nuh, i.e. Noah. This again is stunning. Chapter Noah lies directly in the center of 43 chapters before it and 43 chapters after it that do not mention Nuh, alayhi salam. This perfect mathematical balance is simply amazing. Now consider this shocking find. We said that the total verses in chapter Noah is 28. The total number of chapters in the entire Quran that do mention Nuh is exactly 28. 28, as stated, is exactly the number of verses in chapter Nuh. This is absolutely stunning and beyond human capacity but it simply does not end. What if we disregard mentions such as the people of Nuh because it may be argued that the intent is his people and not him specifically and likewise disregard the mention in wife of Nuh because one again may argue that the intent is his wife and not him specifically. Such an argument is weak because these still do mention Nuh in name but if we do focus on just mentions of Nuh السلام, meant specifically as himself, what do we get? Shockingly, Nuh السلام, alone as his own person is mentioned exactly 28 times. As already stated, chapter Noah has 28 verses and the total chapters that mention Nuh are 28. And this list is different than the list of the mentions specific to himself. Whichever way one chooses it, it is inescapable. It is mathematically shocking and beyond human capacity. How can Nuh be mentioned exactly 43 times and in person, specifically the mentions of himself and not with intent to his people or wife, be exactly 28 mentions? While the number of verses in chapter Nuh is 28 and the difference between them and the chapter number is 43 this is humanly impossible so to add my own observations to these findings i found that if we take all the chapters that mentioned nuh alayhi salam and add their chapter numbers we get 838 
amazingly, the 838th verse in the Quran is 43 letters. Then, when I multiply the chapter number by its total verses numbers, I of course got 71 times 28 equals 1988. Again, we see that the 1900th and 88th verse from the start of the Quran has 43 letters. Furthermore, 71 is not just a multiple of 1988, but also its greatest prime factor, and of course, the number of chapter Nuh. I also noticed that Nuh is a three-letter word, and that Nuh in chapter Nuh was mentioned three times. In fact, the first mention of Nuh in chapter Nuh is word number three. Amazingly, the first mention of Nuh in the Quran is in chapter three. Even more amazing is that it was in verse 33. Then I found that while Nuh in person was mentioned 28 times, the people of Nuh were mentioned exactly 14 times. Shockingly, I saw that the 14th prime number is 43. How can the total mentions of Nuh be 43 and the total mentions for the phrase Noah's people be 14? And the 14th prime number is 43. This is stunningly miraculous and simply beyond human capacity. The stunning and miraculous mathematical code is endless. Going even further, I found that the 14th verse in chapter Nuh السلام, also has exactly three words. This again is mind-boggling. Chapter Nuh concretely highlights 43, which in addition to all we mentioned, also gives the mentions of Noah's people, which is 14, and the 14th verse has three words, which is the letters of Noah's name. The mentions of Nuh in the chapter and the first mention of Nuh in the Quran. Looking even further, I found that the first chapter in the Quran with three verses, i.e. chapter 103, is three verses and has 14 words and 71 letters. And you know that 14 is the mentions of Noah's people in the Quran and that 71 is chapter Nuh and 3 is the mentions of Nuh in chapter Nuh and the letters that spell his name. Having gone this far, I remembered something interesting, which led me down another path. Adam السلام, is the father of humanity, and previously we had seen that amongst many things, his Quran mathematics also highlights DNA. Nuh, peace be upon him, is the second father of humanity after Adam because it was his lineage after the flood which re-established humanity on earth. First off, we remember that humans have 46 chromosomes in our DNA, helix, which are as a pair of 23. Then we are amazed to see that in the entire Quran, there is obviously only one verse, which is verse 23 in chapter 23. That does indeed mention Nuh alayhi salam. Subhanallah, this is amazing. But I also noticed that the chapter with the greatest repetitions of Nuh is chapter 11. And the 11th mention of Nuh as his person is also in chapter 11. So we go to this verse and amazingly, it is verse 46, which is the total number of chromosomes in the human DNA helix. This is amazing, but just in case someone has any doubts, this verse also has 23 words, and humans have 23 pairs of DNA chromosomes. The stunning code is endless, and while there is more, here is a bonus segment for this video. We already mentioned that the greatest mentions of Nuh السلام, as his person was in chapter 11. Now keep in mind that Nuh is a three-letter word, 
and he was mentioned three times in chapter Nuh. The amazing thing is that 19 is the greatest Qur'an mathematical key, and the only verse in the entire Qur'an which mentions Nuh and also has 19 words was a verse mentioning him as his own person. So, we look at all verses which mention Nuh as his person in this chapter 11, and they are seven, which is the second main key in the Quran. Then when we add up all their words, we get 114, which is a third main key in the Quran and the total chapters in the Quran. The harmony gets even better when we realize that this verse with 19 words has three personal mentions before it and three personal mentions after it in the chapter. Three is the number of letters that spell Nuh and also the mentions of Nuh in chapter Nuh. So it's also a ring composition which is again another Quran phenomena. This amazing ring composition has highlighted so much so far and when we look even closer we are stunned that this Noah based ring composition its central highlighted verse has 71 letters and 71 is the number of chapter Nuh subhanallah but the code is endless and since we must eventually stop at some point for this video consider this highlighted in the center of this ring composition which is based on Nuh is the number 19 and when we place 19 next to the total mentions of Nuh, i.e. 43, we get 1943. So what could this be? Shockingly, 1943 is the sum total of all verse numbers that mention Nuh in the Quran. But if 19 is such a great Quran mathematical key, what about that one and only mention of Nuh alayhi salam in chapter 19. So I went to that chapter and found that it is in verse 58. So what about 58? Amazingly, 58 is the sum total of the Hija'i alphabetic order of the letters which spell Nuh. May Allah's blessings and peace be upon the Prophet Nuh. Subhanallah. This miraculous code is stunning. How can the total mentions of Nuh be 43 and there be exactly 43 chapters before chapter Nuh and do not mention Nuh and 43 chapters after Nuh that do not mention Nuh alayhi salam? This is impossible. How can adding total mentions of Nuh to total mentions of Nuh in his person give the chapter of Nuh? How can the total mentions of Nuh be the 14th prime number? And 14 is the total mentions for people of Nuh. This again is simply impossible. How can the total mentions of Nuh in person match exactly the number of verses in his chapter and also match the total number of chapters that mention Nuh in the entire Quran? This is simply impossible. How can Nuh have this impossible mathematical ring composition? Yet the math is undeniable and as clear as day for people with minds that can see and hearts that understand. Math has no language barrier. Where are the deniers? Where are the so-called debunkers? Where are the great mathematicians and programmers? Let them explain how a man who could neither read or write recite a book which does what is beyond human capacity. How can a book passed down orally from memory be not only linguistically unchallengeable and also mention facts only recently discovered, but also have a code that is beyond human capacity? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala promised to make his signs clear for all generations through the Quran in every age. Yet Allah also said, Indeed, it is not the eyes that are blind, but it is the hearts and the chests 
that grow blind. Please help spread the word. And as always, subscribe, give it a thumbs up, and until next time, Assalamu alaikum.